Hey guys, what's up? I'm Anupa and welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to be comparing two palettes, one of whom is actually set to be a dupe of the other. Let's just reveal what I'm going to do today. I'm going to be comparing these two eyeshadow palettes. This one is the AVH Modern Renaissance palette and this one is the Wet n Wild Rosé in the Air eyeshadow palette. And the Wet n Wild one is set to be a good dupe of Modern Renaissance. And I'm actually wearing colors from one eyeshadow palette on one eye and the other on this eye and can you guys guess which is the high-end palette and which is the drugstore palette actually if you would ask me even i cannot guess because they both look so similar and so gorgeous so if you guys are excited for a fun and fabulous comparison video high-end versus drugstore then let's get started let's just take a moment to quickly compare these two palettes and i'm sure you guys can see and make out easily that the colors are so similar in both these palettes. So as you guys can see, my base is already done and I'm gonna move straight to my eyes. To clear away any confusion, I'm gonna be using the ABH palette on my this eye and Wet n Wild palette on my this eye. Let's get quickly started with the look. For transition color, I'm gonna be using this shade. This is Burnt Orange. Using this color on my trees and on my outer view area. For the Wet n Wild palette, I'm going to be using the same brush, but I'm going to be cleaning up, um, you know, the previous shadow colors. This is the brush that came along with the AVH palette. From the Wet n Wild palette, I'm going to be using this transition shade. This shade appears to be more on the peachy or rangy side, while this one is more of like a caramelly brown shade. They kind of appear similar while you see them on the palette, but they are pretty much different. To this eye, I'm gonna add a little bit of raw sienna so that both these shades look similar. This one is looking a, a little bit of peachy. Raw sienna is more like, you know, browny in shade. So I'm gonna like use a little bit of it. I think now the colors look pretty similar to each other. Let's move forward to the next color. And I feel like adding a touch of orange to my makeup look. I'm gonna be using the shade Real Garb. And to blend this color, I'm gonna be using a tapered eyeshadow blending brush. This is the one by Pro Arte PE23. And start concentrating it right over here. This is like deepening up my crease a bit. The quality of this palette is to die for guys. The eyeshadows are so buttery and you would literally enjoy using this palette for sure. Next I'm going to be taking this shade from the Wet n Wild palette. These eyeshadows in the Wet n Wild palette are a little bit difficult to blend but they're not that difficult but not as easy as the ABH one. From my ABH palette I'm going to be using the shade Red Orchid. And to apply the shadow, I'm going to be using a flat shader brush. This is again by Pro Arte, PE19. I'm going to apply this shade on the outer corner. And from my Wet n Wild palette, I'm going to be using this shade. And now I feel like adding a little bit of shimmer to my eye makeup. And from my ABH palette, I love this shade. It's called Primavera. I'm going to be applying this on my inner half. And look at that pigmentation. Isn't it stunning? It's just like, it's not even one full swipe. Ooh, not bad. Not bad. It's giving some tough competition to the ABH palette. I do feel that the shimmer eyeshadow in the ABH palette is more on the brighter side while this one looks more goldish. However, both the eyeshadows are really really pretty. This one is brighter and this one is more like goldy. I'm going to be using the shade Warm Taupe on my lower lash line. I'm using a smudge brush for the lower lash line and this is by Pac 208. From my Wet n Wild palette, I'm going to be using this shade on my lower lash line. The color in the AVH palette is more pigmented than the Wet n Wild one. Next, I'm going to be taking a bright pink shade. This is the shade Love Letter. And from the Wet n Wild palette, I'm going to be taking this shade. Both the pink colors almost look pretty much identical to each other. And let's see how they both swatch on the eyes. One thing that I'm noticing is 
Whenever you dip any brush into the ABH palette, it picks a lot of product. And even after that, there is no fallout, which is absolutely amazing. The wet and dry, however, does not pick much of the product. I also connected my pink eye shadow with the like upper eye shadow, the outer V eye shadow. See, it's like two swipes and the Wet n Wild one still has not picked that much color uh, as compared to the ABH one. So I'm going to dip the brush thrice into the pan so that you know both the colors look similar. Now I just feel like adding a little bit of brown on my upper lash line. I'll be using this shade, it's Cypress Umber. From my Wet n Wild palette, I'm going to be using this shade. Using it just as close to my lash line and towards the outer V as well. Alright, so I'm happy with how the eyeshadows are looking right now. I feel like adding a black pencil and for that I'm using the Nykaa Rock the Line Kajal. So I'm gonna wear my mascara and do my lashes off camera and I'll be right back. So I'm back with my full face of makeup and there is one thing which is still left and which is adding a bit of highlighter onto the inner corners and the pro bone and I'm not gonna be using the regular highlighter but the eyeshadow. I'll be using the shade Vermeer from the AVH palette. I don't really think this shade is working as a highlight so I'm going to be using the ABH one on my inner corners. So I'm done with the final look and time for the final review. I really don't think you can easily make out that I've used two, eye two eyeshadows for this kind of look. It looks, it looks just the same isn't it and just take a closer look at it guys. It looks beautiful and so similar although the wet and wild eyeshadows like some colors in it are a little bit difficult to blend by difficult i mean as compared to the abh one because they are so buttery you can easily work with them they are the most smoothest eyeshadows so yeah there is a little bit of difference in that area but yeah i don't really think that you would have any sort of problem in working with the wet and wild eyeshadow considering the price i mean of course a few colors in the abh one were more pigmented for example um like the orange color and the pink color and even the brown color that i used on the lash line they were slightly more pigmented than the wet and wild one and uh, the shimmer that i used over here it was more brighter and this one was more goldy but i'm not complaining they equally look beautiful but let's talk about if there was any fallouts i mean you guys saw it yourself there was no fallouts literally no fallouts in both the eyeshadows which is so good and uh, yeah i think i've covered all the points but price wise the wet and wild eyeshadow palette definitely deserves plus one point over here because this really is for only five dollars or something like that and the EVH palette is for $42. So yeah, if you ask me, I personally love both the eyeshadow palettes, but I love the Modern Renaissance palette more than the Wet n Wild one. A, because the colors are so amazing. They are beautifully pigmented. And this was a gift. This was actually a Diwali gift from Deep. So yeah, that's why it really holds a special place in my heart. And this palette was something that I've been it was actually in my hit list for so long and I was so happy when Deep gifted this to me. Having said that, it's really up to you in which palette you want to invest your money on. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this comparison video and yeah, let me know in the comment section how did you guys like it and please give this video a big hit. Share this video with all your friends, family, on your social media and please make sure that you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you guys super soon in the next video. I love you so much. Mwah. Bye.